Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm your host, That One Camera Guy, and in this episode, I'm gonna be talking about some equipment and gear that I use when I shoot event dances. Let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna go over is the equipment that I brought with me to the event. First of all, I brought with me the Canon 5D Mark III, the Canon 6D. As far as lenses, I brought this 17 to 40 L, the Sigma 35 F1.4 Art Series lens. Lighting, I brought two Canon 600 EXRT speed lights. I brought with me a Holdfast Moneymaker dual strap. I brought that all in a Temba Rodi HDSLR bag. Did bring some additional equipment that I knew I wasn't probably going to use. I brought my GH4 along with the Metabones and Sigma 17 to 50 lens. I brought a microphone and a Sigma 85 F1.4 for portraits in case I ever was going to use it. So that is all the equipment that I did bring with me. Now let's talk about the specifics and why I chose the gear that I did. Number one, cameras. I brought the 5D Mark III and the Canon 6D because they're my two full frame cameras. I knew for a fact that the venue was gonna be very small, very tight, compact area. And I really wanted to be able to get, uh, not only one, take advantage of the low light performance, but take advantage of my lenses to get the full frame effect that you would get out of those lenses, get more in the shot. What was really great with having two full frame cameras is that the view is the same for both. So that's a really nice added benefit. I would really prefer if I had two 5D Mark III's or two Canon 6D's so they're all consistent, but it's all right, it's not a big deal. I'm very familiar with using the Canon bodies and switching on and off between those two. Number two, lens choices. I brought with me the Canon 1740 F4L, as well as the Sigma 35 F1.4 Sigma Art Series lens. The reason why I went with the 1740 is the fact that it's a dance. I want ultra wide. I'm gonna be using those kind of above head shots to get some really fun uh, portraits and or some fun action shots of the kids dancing. As far as the Sigma lens, the 35 F1.4, the fact that it has a large aperture and it's kind of a normal wide lens, I can get some really terrific environmental portraits, especially in a really tight environment. I noticed when I was there, I was having to kind of direct kids to kind of go in a certain spot and position them a certain way. But the Sigma does just, just does an amazing job in terms of sharpness and rendering out the out of focus areas. It just looks beautiful. And so I really, for me personally, I would recommend you to pick one of these lenses up if you tend to kind of shoot in this kind of environment a lot. Number three is the lighting. I went with the speed lights, the 600 EX RTs. I brought two of them with me and I mounted two of those on my two camera bodies. And I'll tell you right now, I love the power output and the performance and the consistency I get out of those two speed lights. I had the 430 EX2s before in the past. I just wasn't impressed with the power output. You could probably get cheaper and get the Yongyo, the, the Yongyo knockoff versions of these, and they'll probably do okay. But if you want consistency, stick with the Canon brand, you're gonna get a lot better performance out of it. As far as using flash, I just kinda shoot up into the ceilings and I shoot up against the walls to kinda bounce that flash. I never, I never shoot flash head on. I never do that. I do it very rarely if it was just, I needed to do that for some reason. But in most cases, I'm bouncing that light and it really lights the room. And the fact that the ceilings weren't so high that I could get some really nice bounce flash and some decent catch lights in people's eyes. Number four was the Moneymaker Holdfast dual strap, uh, dual strap that I had. I'm gonna tell you right now in terms of usage and um, as, at an event, one, it, it looks nice. Number two, it really, securely holds the cameras in place. And number three, it really makes it better for you when you're dual strapped and you have two camera bodies with you. I will say that I could have just used one camera and just had me switching off with lenses. But the problem is I may miss a moment trying to switch a lens and I don't want it to go to my bag or something like that to try and change equipment. So it was really beneficial to be able to just pick up the camera and shoot. I got my wide, I shoot. I got my normal wide, I shoot. And throughout the evening, it was a fantastic decision to go with because I can walk in through tight spaces and not bump into people or knock into people. And I can just switch off the cameras whenever I needed to. So it really helps you not worry about your gear, but more focus on the photography. And that's why I would recommend it if you do have the, the equipment for that. 
And one other thing about the hold fast gear is the fact that the night afterwards, I didn't have a strained back. My back felt great. It really evenly distributed the weight of the cameras. So it felt like I wasn't really wearing anything heavy. It, if you haven't had a chance to use something like that, I highly recommend it. If you have to shoot for long hours, it's gonna really save and uh, save your neck and your back. Number five, I think I'm on is the bag and the equipment that I use. I use the Temba Rodi HDSLR bag. I've had it forever now, maybe three to four years now, and it's still together, still intact. Uh, I, I'm able to fit all my gear in it. It's modular. I change it out depending on what I need. Sometimes I use it for sports, sometimes I use it for events, whatever it happens to be. It's a great bag. I would prefer a different bag if I could, but I just keep on going back to the Temba Rodi bag. It just works and uh, I, I really like it. Well, that does it for this video. If you have any questions or comments about the gear that I use or commentary about what I do, go ahead and post them down below. If you do want to see the photos from this event, go ahead and go to my Instagram at that one camera guy and you can find the photos that I took. I'm your host, that one camera guy, and I will see you on the next video. Now, if you did enjoy this video, consider hitting the like button. If you do enjoy the videos I'm producing on my channel, you may want to consider subscribing. And if you did miss my last video, there will be an icon up there that you can click on and even annotations on the side. I'll see you later. Bye.